Hello everybody and welcome back to Jurassic World Evolution 2 in the Jurassic World playthrough where today we are going to be working on a few things but first I want to show you some changes that we've done since as you know the Camp Cretaceous update has come we've got new dinosaurs even new skins and also of course we've got some new things and the first thing we're gonna do is something we all need to do which is go into here grab this damn spinoskeleton get rid of this skull and place this guy right here and cheer yep there you go but first let's just have some heavenly music play over the Spinosaurus skeleton? What, what do you mean, Vader? No, 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 Vader, you, you've got to. I, don't start with me. Okay, look, I'm in control. You'll play heavenly music if I say so. Watch. Ah, there we go, that's what I... God damn it, Vader, I told you. Oh, for gosh sakes. Anyway, the Spinosaurus skeleton is here finally and also as you can see i've done a little bit of things over here including some amber which is accurate to the film and also of course over here i've added some little water features as you can see and also now for scenery items guys the number one now that we have the spinosaurus skeleton my next thing that i want is the t-rex kingdom archway to be able to be placed on path or even connected to fence that Oh, excuse me. That is what we need because we also have the Jurassic World gate. I placed it somewhere. I think over here. Yes, I placed it over here. So now the entrance ways more forested, more fancy. And as you can see, I used a lot of the um, scenery trees for the background. And the Jurassic World gate is here. Not connected to a monorail, but you know, we make do with what we can. And also, basically, I'm going to show you what I've changed. I've also added some Mosaurus flags. Also, over here, I've got a water park here as a quote-unquote water park. It's just like all the water features except for the one that's over there. But, you know, it'll look nice once I turn it on. And if we go over here, you may notice that there's a big enclosure here. Which, this is the aviary, which we're going to be mainly working on this. And also here and here so basically this side of the map is what we're working on and this i have figured out what we are gonna do we are going to have the restricted zone here and i know it should be technically over here because you know indominus rex and velociraptors are over here but we just don't have the room unfortunately so i figured out the layout and also i want to give a shout out quickly because basically this is just the showcase thing and also as you can see, I had a lot of fun with the new scenery items, as you can see. Pretty nice. Now, this enclosure is something that I found on Twitter. So, a couple days ago, I was on Twitter just, like, checking the usual stuff, seeing if anyone was liking stuff or anything. And I came across an image of this, which was a Paki Arena recreation. Now, give me a second, I need to pull up the name of who made it. Okay, guys, so I've pulled up the per the little Twitter thing, which started from Tom Jurassic, so if you want to check him out, please follow him. He's a fellow Dino YouTuber, I believe. And he's on this is on Twitter, just to be clear. And one of the commenters showcased their recreation of Jurassic World, because that was the whole subject, and he had this amazing Paki Arena that he actually showcased, and he was really nice, guys. He actually showed me the specs for it, so I was able to recreate it with some changes, actually. Specifically, I added the scenery trees around the border, because, you know, as you can see, there's a gap here, which is how he had it laid out. I can't show you an image of his original one, unfortunately, but if you do go to, my, do to Twitter and search... Um, Connor OK, you should be able to find it there, but also another change I made was the entrance here, which as you can see I used the scenery items. His version had the, um, uh, what's it called, the arrival point, which is as I already used all the way onto this side of the map, 
but I decided to change it up, you know, just give it my own little twist. But I want to thank him for the design. And you may be wondering why don't I have the packies in there? Well, because unfortunately they won't actually be too happy with it. So for now, what we're going to do is we'll keep this here for now. And then when I do my tour, when this is all complete, I'll probably move them all in here, have no breakouts going, and then maybe here I'll fill it up with some other enclosure, maybe... Because I'm working on over here, but I will need something for, like, over here for guests. So maybe I can change this to another enclosure. But for now, I'm going to keep the packies in there so they're comfortable. Because, you know, I don't want to put them in here right now. Even though this is such a lovely one. Just since I'm playing this where dinosaurs can be angry and break out. I don't think a group of, of like... 10 Packies and 12 Stiggy Molochs will be too happy in here. But we are going to start off with the aviary. And since we have the new scenery items, we can make this a lot more interesting. Not with that. Wait a minute. Can we please tell me we can put... Oh, thank God. I was going to be like, oh, no. Because as soon as I saw that Spinosaurus skeleton... Okay, so you can't put the skeleton, but you can put everything else? Oh, no, you can't put... Damn it, we can't put people. Ooh, now this would be interesting. A water feature inside. And also, guys, can someone please tell me what's up with the issue with the aviary and um, the tour rides? Because I know you're able to, but every time I try and get them connected, it just says can't go through aviary dumb. So if someone can help me with that, please let me know how to fix that. But let's start, and I think it's best to start with the water source, which I think we should do a smaller one, probably not too fancy, just right there. And then I know we'll need sand because dimorphodons, I'm pretty sure, are the ones that need sand, so we'll have it right around here, a little bit of a beaches section. And we will elevate part of the land, which, oh, God, getting texted. Oh, no, Bryce Dallas Howard's tweeting stuff. Sorry, guys. All right, let's continue now that I've silenced my phone because I don't think I need a heart attack while recording. All right, wait. I see what I'm missing. I don't have a hatchery. I was like, wait, where's the hatchery? But no, I don't have it. Oh, that's a perfect spot. Let's put it right there. That'll save me some path. Hey, wait a second. Where's my aviary? Oh no, they're right there, right? Oh. Oh yeah, it's because it's under construction. I was like, wait, I placed those. Where'd those go? Okay, so let's... Now, let's see. What are we gonna do? We need fish feeder, which I'm gonna put two down because I know that, that with more pterandons, they're gonna need two, so probably two should be good. Maybe could we fit three? Oh... Well, how about this? We'll go like this. Nope. We need... Right... Also, guys, I have a question. Should I include Scorpius Rex somewhere? Like, I know it was, like, contained and stuff, unlike Indominus Rex, and it wasn't during the breakout. But I'm thinking for the breakout video, should I include Scorpius Rex? Let me know in the comments if I should. Because maybe in the next episode, I will include it. Like, maybe I could just put, like, a small box or something well actually no i'll include it like if you guys want me to during my last video of this when i do like the full breakout and stuff then i will have the scorpius rex in it but before then i don't think it'd be a good idea but now 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 let's first get the rock perch actually i do think that would be the wise decision so rock and also, guys, I've had to push back the hybrid battle arena because I have work to do, like actual, like work, work. So, I'm. It might be not this weekend. It might actually be pushed back to Wednesday because I'm working on a new schedule for from now on. Like, I'll have two weekend uploads. I'll have the um week episode, which will be like probably Wednesday or something. That's what I'm working on. Like. Maybe I might change it or something, probably, maybe, yeah, Wednesday is probably a good idea. Like, that's right in the middle of the week, so it's not too far. So what I'm thinking, and 
tell me if you think this is a good idea. Like, so what I'm thinking is, and so that I have a theory video every week, what I'm thinking is I'll have the weekend videos basically be Jurassic World Evolution 2 or stuff like that. If I, like, say for this week I'm having Battle Royale plus this video. And then Wednesdays will probably be my sort of theory video, whether it be Camp Cretaceous, Jurassic World Dominion, any news stuff, something like that. That's what I'm thinking we can do. And if I keep to this schedule, it'll hopefully allow me to do any sudden news that come out, because, you know, if I work on it during the in between my time of work, then Wednesday will be good. At least that's what I'm thinking. I might have to change some things about that, but that's what I'm going with right now. Okay, so that's the rock perch. Maybe we can add one to, like, right around the edge, maybe. Like, well, not right around the edge because the hatchery is there. So let's, let's add a few more rocks, like maybe some, like, sort of covering the view a bit. I, I always like that with the rocks nowadays. Okay, look at this. You can, even though the hitbox is still there, look how close I can get that fern. If it was the first game, I would have to be this far away with this fern. Just look at that. That is awesome. Like, I can have little ferns in here. Sure, you have to be careful, but still, track incomplete. Incomplete? What track? Oh, the gyrosphere. Oh, yeah, I was kind of working over here, too. I forgot to showcase that. But as you can see, had a lot of fun with the scenery items again, which, honestly, guys, I don't know about you, but I would be super happy if all they did from now on, instead of just introducing more dinosaurs or prehistoric creatures, I would just be happy if we just got, like, every month or two, a free update with more scenery items, because this is just awesome. Like, that's just only a few, and you've seen what I did with the Packy Arena right here. Just, that's just so cool, in my opinion. I cannot wait. Okay, so we'll need to assign... No, no, we don't need to drive. Hopefully you can get there. You'll Otherwise, it'll take you a long while. And we can probably... Okay, so yeah. Oh, he's miles. 467 miles away. Well, he'll, he'll, he'll make it there. Alright, so we need additional bays and accelerated growth. Even though we already have it on 10%, which that really helps. So let's go with some Tyrandons, which we'll make them, we won't make them weak. We'll have them, so which ones are these? I don't think those are the right ones, so I think it's the this. Yeah, these are the right ones. And then Needy, no way, we'll have it all the way down. <coughs> oh god, I'm choking again. Oh my god, he is so slow. How is he supposed to get there? Oh, he's going through. <laughs> okay, we'll add a gate because he's going to trap himself. Okay, so gate right there. Okay, so Tyrandons are ready. Let's introduce them. And then we'll see how they are. Okay, so those aren't right at all with what the movie's supposed to be, but, you know, we can change them when we do it later. So let's introduce those. Then introduce them. And the Dimorphodons. Okay, so how are we gonna do this? Like, should we have, like, a river or something run through? Because that's what I'm feeling like. Let's, let's do a river, actually. Let's do the restricted zone with a river. Which, first we should lower the terrain down to it. Alright, there you go. Now let's go with a smaller stream, actually. Oh, come on. You can go through. 
and then just follow the flatness and then we'll add forest around here and well let's shrink this actually like yeah not too thick actually All right, now let's let's lift the terrain a little bit, probably over here, and then we'll also need to make those allosaurus not too high. We want to have some flatness, like probably over here is good, and then we'll have this like elevated here. That's fine. And the music is getting grand. Now, how much space do we have over here? Okay, we have up to here. So. What I'm thinking, what I'm thinking, is we also need to try and keep the carnivores and herbivores avoiding each other for the most part. So, here's my idea, because we're going to have some deaths. Like, it, it's a no-brainer. Like, we'll make these dinosaurs that are in here, like, the most dangerous. But, for the aloes, we'll probably have them, like, probably at base level with maybe one addition. Okay, so lift up this part here, and then we'll flatten this to right about there. Make this sort of like a little canyon place. Maybe we could put like some rocks, and then like, oh, I know what we'll do. We'll lift this up, sort of like, you know, as if it's like man, as if it's like a small hill or something. So we'll lift it up here. And then we'll lower that down a little bit. And then what it can be is we'll have some rocks here or stuff, or like the trees. And then like it'll force the dinosaurs to like whatever carnivores up there, go down here, drink. And then if they want food, they have to go up here. And we can have the herbivores food over here. And the only reason they'll go down here is there. And that is how we are going to do it. Now also, let's check and see how these guys are all doing. 100%. Oh wow, these are all happy terrendons. But let's take a look. Let's see. Okay, so. Ooh, this is a nice one actually. Yeah, this one looks more like the ones from the movie. Maybe take away the blue. Ooh, actually I like the green. And then... Okay, so, yeah, we'll need to change those a bit. Oh, we got some trees poking out a wee little bit. And the Dimorphodons, they're happy as well. Yes, they are. So they will cause me no fuss until, of course, we get them angry. Oh, wow, we are at four stars. Nice. All right, so let's make some Nasutoceratops and some Allosaurus, which, let's start with the Allos. Okay, so yeah, we just need some blank skins, and then maybe we can have one crazy Allosaurus. So let's see, large appetite, no, and then intolerant, no, and then we'll make you a little more fit and a little more defensive. We don't want to make you stronger, at least not right now. We'll add a few more when we do like the breakout and stuff. We're basically for the breakout we'll add like a hundred things more of everything except for the t uh, excuse me, except for T-Rex, of course. Okay, so how many come in a batch? Three come in a batch. Eh, I think that's fair. Let's start with just three. We don't want to go too crazy. And then we're going to let's see, where is the Nasu oh uh, I missed him. I went right past him there. All right, in the Pseudoceratops. Okay, so you should be already the way you are. Now let's go here. All right, so we'll make you strong, defensive, fit, and probably a little bit, probably more defensive. Yeah, that'd probably be better. I'd rather have them more defensive than strong. And that one comes with five. We'll do... Well, because we're also going to have Sinoceratops there. We'll probably have... We can have two batches. Let's let's do a lot. Let's have ten Nasutoceratops. 
All right, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so these two are the useless ones. That's okay. And then these ones, one, two, three, four, five, six. And we won't release them just yet because we need to make... Let's make the herbivores happy first. All right, so we'll need environment. We need... I'm pretty sure for Nasutoceratops we need ground leaf and ground fiber. Though we'll add all just to be sure. And we'll also, I think we're going to include Brachiosaurus in here. Because I know originally in the evolution of Claire novel it was in the Gyrosphere Valley. But we never see them in the movie. So I might include like one in here. But the majority of them will be in here. That's what I'm thinking we can do. So we'll need, that was ground fiber. Let's, well no, that this is ground fiber. So we'll have a nice bush of here some here and also let's make this a bit more rocky in the look so not too rocky because we'll add some foliage but you know rock it up probably a little bit heavy over here and then add some dirt you know because there's going to be a lot of dinosaurs around here we'll make it like Sort of like, there's certain areas that like have more dirt than the rest. It's like over here. And then like, cause you know, there's gonna be a trail for the carnivores. We'll have it like, you know, they come like here and then like over there. And then like, a little bit dusty over here. And maybe some over here. And then what we can do actually is to make it sort of pop the ferns, we'll add dirt all over here. Yeah, and I love how the terrains actually go in between, at least like the dirt and sand. I'm not sure about the rock though, let's see. Oh no, it does a little bit, okay, so that's good. So like, there you go. And then we can add the other ones, so we've got those. We'll need some fruit, which we can have more around the water actually, like, right over here. Now I hope Allosaurus doesn't be a meanie and go after Brachiosaurus. Okay, so we'll need some nut, which we'll stick to over in these areas. And then we're going to need to add some more forest, which let's go to the scenery items for that, because they actually are a lot better. Nope, we're in the wrong thing. Decorations. Alright, let's add some big trees first. Alright, there you go. Over there. And then we'll have like the one or two like over here. And then we need to basically cover this whole area up. We don't want people seeing too much. Yeah, there you go. You barely can see anything. We'll have, like... I'm thinking we'll have, like, a viewing vent or something, like, over... Maybe over here, actually. Like, you know, in an area that's, like, not viewable from the guests. Like, let's see. Can we fit one... Nope, we need it here. Can we fit something, like... Nope, stop clipping. Oh yeah, we can fit it right there, and then what we'll do is we'll use the scenery trees, and we'll kind of cheat on this because, you know, we need to have, um, we don't usually see trees all over the path, but what I'm gonna do is use this decoration because this is an awesome thing. I can make it so that, like, realistically, you cannot see this. So there you go. And when it's built... Let's say, like, in this shot, you can only see the top of it. And realistically, you have no idea what this is. That That's just so good. Like, I'm so glad you can put them on the path and stuff. This makes it so much easier. Like, I can have this, like, literally in the building, and it looks, it looks awesome. So, like, one of my original ideas for a sandbox build, and I didn't put this on my vote thing, but... It was going to be an abandoned park. Now with these trees alone, I can do it now, which is going to be awesome. All right. And it's going actually night, actually. So we might need to hurry up. And 
we'll add a bit of these trees, like, you know, right around here, you know. We don't want it too crazy, so there you go. Alright, so let's change this to a bit more of the seed. There you go. And looks like that is done. This, oh yeah, we'll need a carnivore feeder, and we'll need to make those brachiosaurus, and then we'll work on the carnotaurus paddock, and I think we'll call it our wraps for here. Alright, so let's go and grab the Nasutoceratops first. Well, we'll need to make you. Let's see, is this guy aggressive? Okay, so we got one aggressive one, but that's okay. And he's defensive and long-lived, that's good. This guy... Okay, so this guy's a little bit tricky. He's not going to have the defense. So if he fights these guys, he's going to be in a little bit more trouble. But I think he'll be okay. He's, he's an Allosaurus, for God's sake. If he's not okay, he's got issues. Alright, so let's go with... We need to make a blue one. Like, Actually, that is blue, but can we have... Uh, one, of these, one of these patterns should be a uh, vibrant blue. You know, just to make that Fallen Kingdom look, which... It's not the end of the world. All right, large appetite, no. And then we'll have sickly, absolutely not. Let's actually, there you go. I don't want you getting sick at all. And so, batch size is two. I did not know that for Brachiosaurus. I thought it was one. How can you fit two Brachiosaurus? Okay, so, well actually, no, we're only gonna make, no, uh, let's have, Let's have four Brachiosaurus. You never get enough Brachiosaurus, guys. We need like a hundred realistically. You know we do. All right, so let's move you guys all the way to here. We'll place you all down right here. And hopefully you'll be okay. And then we can work on the Carnotaurus exhibit. And then probably we'll end it there, which actually since we're going let's start the contour exhibit which we can have a viewing vents right over here actually let's add that and i know what you're thinking shouldn't i check to see have a little thing for the ranger team to check them you're right i should but since it's a restricted section i'm probably i don't think like since we don't want everyone knowing what's in there you know we're gonna keep them on the down low nobody's gonna really know and goddamn i need to get that red sign off so yeah, that, that just looks awesome. I really love this design of it. It's simple, but it looks so good, especially with the scenery items right here, and, you know, because it's going night. Oh, that's just awesome. I cannot wait to, like, do, like, my own fresh sandbox build. Like, we're going to be doing the Dr. Wu slash Biosyn facility next, like, for sandbox builds. So, it's going to be interesting. All right, so... All right, let's go all the way around here. And we'll go here. And actually, we'll cut this off right about here. So we'll go there. And then just to leave a bit of space, We'll go right about here, then angle it off there, and then we'll use the fence, the tree line to basically say where we can go. So like we'll go here, and probably up to, let's see, how much space is over here? This should be a good spot to cut off. Let's see what the Nasutoceratops are feeling. Well, this one's... Oh, he's all alone! Well, first of all, he's sad because he's lonely, so he does need ground leaf, but he can sense that once he gets over here. If we do need to add more, we can, which, actually, let's add a bit more, like, you know, alongside the water. That's probably a good idea, so, ground leaf, it said, you got it! Yes, sir, Mr. Nasuto. which, also, we're gonna name you, um, we'll name you... Big, nope, big, uh, big,
Big Harvey. Let's go with that. Why Harvey? I don't know. And we'll name your friend right here. And if you have any name suggestions, guys, because I want to give names, do leave them in the comments below. And the music is getting really loud in my ears. Good God. This will be named Jibble. Jibble, that is a weird name. Jibbles, actually. So we'll name you Jibbles, and if you want to name any of the other Nasutoceratops, because we still got eight suggestions. And also, remember... Oh, wait! Oh, no, I didn't! Oh my god, I completely forgot I introduced Sinoceratops here. Okay, so we don't need to worry about Sinoceratops. But if you have any name suggestions for any of these guys over here, or even the Pteranodons, Dimorphodons, or the Allos, go ahead and leave those in the comments. But also, let's get those other Nasutoceratops on the move, and then make those Brachiosaurus complete. Let's go. I don't know why I'm singing. I'm just crazy. And we all know the truth. I am weird. All right, so we'll add a gate right here. Now, it's kind of going to be weird, if, especially because in Camp Cretaceous, we know that... Should we have Toro split up, actually? Because I know he wasn't... I mean, Carnotaurus was on the in the restricted zone completely, remember? Like, I'm not crazy in thinking that, because they weren't shown on, Fa on Jurassic World's list until Fallen Kingdom came out. Eh, whatever. We'll pretend this is part of the restricted zone as well, but you know what? We'll live. Alright, so we'll go just around there, not too tightly... And we'll have one as Toro, and then we'll have the rest as crazy stuff. So, let's have the water right over here. Do, 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 do. And let's get rid of all these trees for now. Because we need a blank slate to make this the proper Carnotaurus exhibit it meant, was meant to be. Oh yeah, those senior trees. So, we'll keep those there. We'll make, actually... Now, this will be the forested section, you know, the very thickness of trees. No one will know. And then over here, we'll have another line of trees. We don't want the guests to see apart from, you know, getting into viewing here, because I want to make it so that it's really hard to see. I'll add some trees in the front here, but you won't be able to see too much. And also, we'll need... A goat feeder after, which we'll do that later. So we'll have this hidden with the trees right there. There we go. And then you visiting this guy. And then environment. Let's, let's make this more dirty. Like, definitely around here, you know. This will be, like, the section that Carnos like to, you know, this is their game trail, as we'd say. And then let's lower the sand, because we know we they like some sand. And, you know, I love how that looks, like, the sand and the dirt together. That really looks awesome. It's much better than, like, just having the sand on its own, honestly, in my opinion, unless you're, like, doing the resort section. So, like... Add bits of sand, dirt and sand together, and it pops a little. It just looks more real, in my opinion. Now, also, we should get those brachiosaurs made. Let's go with those. One, two. One, two. And those aloes are done. Okay, we will include those. This is going to be where it gets bad, folks. Trust me. This is, we're, we're prepared for these guys. They're totally not going to be annoyed and just break out, are they? Cut to them just breaking out straight away. That will be my day. All right, so now let's make a little bit of a rocky section. Let's go. Actually, you know, I can hide this even more. Never mind, I can't. I can't put them really that close to this at all. Oh, the Brachiosaurs are done. That was fast. Yeah, that is awesome. The fact that you can speed up the 
um, hatch rate to like only take 10% of the time, that is just, that's awesome in my opinion. Like the fact that we don't need scientists anymore in sandbox is one thing, but to speed up the time, chef's kiss there. Like something like Indominus Rex takes only like a minute now when it used to take like double, like 10 times that. All right, let's rock it up. All right, add a few more here. And let's add some little bit of, let's add a fern area or something, you know. And then some shorter ones. And then some palm trees as if it's like, you know, starting to connect with the regular forest. Oh, they've changed this one. Oh, it's now angled. Oh, I didn't notice that. Nice. And then, you know, some ferns all around. And then a bit more. Yeah, these trees are much better. Like, you know, just different heights and stuff. Different looks for each of them. Chef's kiss here, Frontier. You did excellent. Now let's add a hint of, like, the normal forest. Which, let's go to here, we'll add, we'll go this way, so like, yeah, see, it's like just starting to grow onto it, and then we'll add, you know, some of the ferns to make it more thick and unnatural, there you go. And we can make the Carnotaurus, and as a new day is arriving, I believe, we'll be able to end this. Now let's release the first batch of Brachiosaurus, then we'll take a look at them, see how they're doing. And looks like all the Nasuoceratops are pretty happy at the moment, which, thank god. Now are the Allosaurus on- oh, two are here. Now I'm not gonna name any of them. Well, actually, uh, I'm lying about that. I'll name one big owl. Even though I've heard that his name was changed, which- why would you change Big Al's name to something else? So Big Al, and the other two you'll be able to name, which will be this guy and the other one who's coming in just about now, on, right on schedule. So let's get the Carnotaurus made, which will have one that is Toro, of course, and oh, I wish I could make the Demon Carnotaurus. We'll have to wait until Dominion comes out, but let's go with Toro. And we'll make one, not five. Imagine that. We have an army of Tauros. And then we can have... Well, yeah, this skin and the Rana. I wonder if there is a way to sort of make a Demon Carnotaurus. Because this is the way that they look normally. Which, also, let's beef these guys up a little bit. So, like, we'll have them strong, defensive... And, well, he's already quite fit, actually, so he's good. Yeah, that's actually good. There you go. All right, so, and we can probably have, uh, let's say, so we'll have one Torah, which will make him aggressive, because that was one thing that was mentioned about him in the show. And we can have, okay, this one's definitely go going. This one, yeah, that's fit and probably defensive and what's this guy he's just defensive ah let's go for an aggressive gang of carnos five should be good five's a safe number we nothing goes wrong with that many of them now how are you guys you guys are happy you're missing prey and water my dear allosaurus if you just head down here, you'll have water, and also technically you will have prey, but I don't recommend bullying these guys. Take a look at the first of the Brachiosaurus, and the Allosaurus are coming down to the river. But as long as they stay on their side, everything will be fine. Aw, oh, there you go.
There you go. Now Jurassic World's really getting up and running. We have f over four stars, and the Brachiosaurus is here. Things are going back. Oh my god, look how huge it is in comparison to the Nasutoceratops. I forgot how big it was. Dang, I love that. And the best thing, look at all of them. They're in a herd. They're not splitting off. Well, the Allosaurus are, but you know what? They like to be in a pack, but they like to stay away from each other. Oh, wait, oh, uh, what the hell? Uh, excuse me? Don't you dare. Ow. No, ow! Ow! Oh my god! What are you doing, you big bully? Oh, you need nuts! I'm sorry! You bugger, you! You bastard! Here, have a goat! Too close to Big Al. Well, screw him. I might have to kill him for that. My Bracky! No! You... What? No! Okay, we're gonna have to kill him. Don't leave her alone! Leave her alone. Okay, ACU. Tranquilizes bugger. No, tranquilize Big Al! Don't tranquilize her! Stay in the trees! You bugger you! Leave her alone! Oh, come on! You hit her? What is up with him? Why is he hungry? If he's hungry, go and eat for God's sake! Okay, so we're gonna move him right up into the corner and maybe you can learn some manners for god's sake and the other ones oh come on please tell me that they're not gonna die oh come on that's mean well toro's in here and we'll deal with those guys later but how are you toro you're lonely, but what else do you need? You need more sand. Okay, we'll give you more sand, you bugger you. Oh, for God's sake. Tell me that they can heal up. Okay, there you go. So we'll need to get you, your others out, but you'll be fine. And now we just need to... Uh, uh, no, don't you dare die, don't you dare, oh my god. Okay, guys, work together. <coughs> <coughs> I can't believe that, you booger you. But, guys, we are going to end this video, guys, because that has been like about an hour of recording. In the next video, we'll make the Dilophosaurus exhibit, and we might also include the Raptor exhibit, or even work on the Gyrosphere Valley, as I've got the entrance started for that. But, until then, guys, if you've enjoyed this video, I would appreciate the like, and if you haven't already, do hit the subscribe button to join the hunt. Be safe, and until next time, we'll stick with these Brachiosaurus. We'll see you later. Bye bye